So in this video, we'll see how we can effectively use labels to manage Scrum development. So even though labels are a simple feature, they can be used to organize features, epics and stories in a very simple way. So in the first part, we'll show you how to use labels. And second is that if you want to see all tickets linked to a single feature, how labels enable you to do that in a very simple manner. So say I have two features like feature A and feature B and I create say feature A has an uh, activity called build a button. So I click on this and then I go to labels and in labels I say new feature A. I do create new label and I choose a color in this case green or let's do yellow and then I do create and I can just input details build a submit button to track to track signups and then I do save. So now feature A has this color and say I also have feature B. So I do add new card again. I do feature B and say this has uh, build a new UI. And again, I go here and I create a label for create new label and I give it new feature B and I give it a different color for ease of identification and I do it create and then I enter the detail like build a new UI using Angular, just for example. So now as you can see the features are color coded, but now if you want to see that that like say you want to sort by labels, then there's a function here to filter by labels. So if you go to filter, then over here you can see filter by labels and just I'll just take a random label for now, like say for feature B. Right. And if I use this label, you can kind of see all the different tickets for feature B and any new label that is added will start appearing here. Note there might be a delay of a minute before the, the label start appearing here, but this works. And so this is the way that we have used labels to manage scrum development and it has really helped us stay organized. Thank you.